<laughs> are NVIDIA GPUs actually getting worse? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by AliExpress and their anniversary sale. Let me tell you guys, if you've never shopped at AliExpress, do yourself a favor and take a look because I have found the craziest graphics cards you wouldn't believe even exist. And there's a ton of designs that we just don't typically see in US stores, such as this RTX 4060 with an anime character on the back. In fact, you better grab your body pillows and squeeze them tight because there's a ton of anime and waifu inspired GPUs that you just gotta see. Plus, they have a ton of other cards like the RTX 3060, which is actually good quality and is available for a very reasonable price. Plus, there's a ton of other PC-related devices like this 3.5-inch LCD screen, which you can use to display your system info in a PC build. But just in case you feel like that price still isn't low enough, you can use code WOW328 to get $10 off orders over $50 and Alune to get $20 off orders is over a hundred dollars on top of the up to 70% off products from now until March 27th as part of their better choice, better price AliExpress anniversary sale. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and take a look at some very interesting products. So recently I've been seeing a lot of people complaining that the mid-range and below GPUs just aren't getting the same treatment as their $1,000 plus flagship counterparts and I can definitely see where you guys are coming from. I mean on the one hand Nvidia comes out and they bring out something like the 3090 or the 4090 and they're claiming it's somewhere like I don't know 60 or 100% as fast as their last generation GPU but then not much is really said about the new more affordable cards and it turns out they're definitely not as impressive when put under the microscope and I think this has been very apparent in the $250 to $350 range. I mean, when we take a look at something like the GTX 1060, well, that thing came in at an MSRP of $250 roughly and offered a massive jump in performance over the GTX 960. Meanwhile, today, an RTX 4060 costs between $300 to $400, depending on if you want 8 or 16 gigabytes, comes with just half the PCIe lanes of an RTX 3060, and according to TechSpot, is just around 9% faster, but that's assuming you're running with PCIe Gen 4 and not Gen 3. And let's be honest, the majority of people out there with this budget are probably gonna be fairly likely to still be running PCIe Gen 3 systems because realistically, there's not a huge amount to be gained going to Gen 4, or so we thought. And today I'm actually gonna get to the bottom of it. Are affordable NVIDIA GPUs actually getting worse on PCIe Gen 3, or are they still actually significantly better and we're actually underestimating them? And to do that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and compare these two cards, which were sent to me by AliExpress, who's also sponsoring this video and making this possible. Now on the right here, we have the RTX 3060. And honestly, guys, I love this card. This thing is an absolute legend, 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and thankfully not $400. It was actually somewhat reasonable at $330 when this thing launched, although of course at $280, it would have been an absolute steal. And then on the left, we have a very interesting version of the RTX 4060. And honestly, I love the design of this thing, guys. I think it looks absolutely incredible, but enough about that. I'll have links in the description below if you wanna check these things out. Let's get to the bottom of whether or not this thing is actually any faster than the 3060 or if it's actually worse. And to find out, we're gonna be comparing these two cards on my test system, which does actually have a 14700K, 96 gigabytes of RAM, and of course a Kingston two terabyte drive, which is provided by Kingston. But let's get into it. First, starting off with Apex Legend at 1440p using ultra settings. And right away, actually the 4060 is doing pretty well, despite the fact that it's been limited to just eight lanes of gen three over PCIe. In fact, on the 0.1% lows, it was around 21% faster than the RTX 3060, despite the limited PCIe bandwidth and four gigabytes less of VRAM, something I was certainly not expecting to see. Now, moving on to the next game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 1440p extreme settings. And this one's actually a little bit more in line with what I was expecting to see, where the RTX 4060 is significantly faster on average, but when taking a look at the 1% and 0.1% lows, the 3060 pulls ahead significantly. In fact, 2.4 times faster on those 0.1s and 21% faster on the 1%, which is pretty crazy giving you a far more reliable experience on that RTX 3060. Now moving on to the next game here, Cyberpunk 2077, 1440p ultra settings and here while it actually wasn't too different between these two cards the 4060 surprisingly had a 43% lead in the 0.1% lows then moving on to Fortnite 
1440p epic settings, and here, once again, the RTX 3060 is far more consistent, delivering 3.75 times better 0.1% lows, showing that, yeah, in this situation, it looks like potentially the VRAM buffer had been saturated and that it had to go over the PCIe to the RAM, causing a massive bottleneck, considering that not only is it bad enough it has to go to RAM, but now the bandwidth to that RAM has been cut in half. But now let's go and move on to the next game, see if this continues with Starfield 1440p ultra settings. And here we have, well, actually the RTX 4060 is just a little bit faster across the board, so no major issues here. But then finally, taking a look at the five game average between the 3060 and the 4060 using just PCIe Gen 3 rather than the Gen 4 that the RTX 4060 wants, well, actually overall, while the RTX 4060 does pull ahead by around 12% on average and 4% on the 1% lows, the RTX 3060 is actually 16% faster on the 0.1% lows. So is this RTX 4060 actually worse than the RTX 3060 over PCIe Gen 3? Well, not really. I mean, I guess it depends on what games you play. As you saw, there are definitely some situations where if you go over the VRAM limit of this thing and you're stuck on PCIe Gen 3, it can be a huge problem, but the newer architecture of the RTX 4060 does lead to it being just a little bit better overall, even on that Gen 3. And of course it is gonna be much faster on the Gen 4 lanes. But even if we do limit this thing to just Gen 3, sure, maybe it's not really much better of an experience than the 3060 overall, but this thing also launched at a $30 lower MSRP. So, is it worse? No, it's actually technically better even on Gen 3. It's just not that exciting. It's only around 10% better in terms of value on Gen 3. And even if you do have a Gen 4 system, well, now it's around maybe a little over 20% better in terms of value when this thing launched versus the RTX 3060, but it does come at the cost of four gigabytes less of video memory. So yes, this is better than the RTX 3060. There's no doubt about that in terms of price performance, this is moving in the right direction. It's just taking baby steps. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.